Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 10 of the Disguise 5 LP. Uh, Buddy Bison here. And I'm going to be attempting the uh, mission again uh, to defeat Darkfly. So, I have like, looked some stuff up, and... Uh, well, I, I don't want to say uh, look some stuff up. Um, I've just studied up tr trying to figure out how to do this better. So, I need to destroy this one first. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So I will need to throw someone. But luckily, something is done for percentages. And what I can do is this. So, I have gotten some different equipment. One, Three. Here's the hope. I'm going to equip. And you'll see that I have bought some slippers. So the this is the uh, movement tech that I was trying to explain before. Um, but I have also gone so far as to also change it where I have uh, belts as well. Unfortunately, it means that I have to take off my, uh, I have to take off my, um, like, muscle and orb, which decrease it, which decrease its HP and SP at the same time, but I think this will give me, damn it, I still don't one-shot it. I was really banking on it, because I even leveled him up some. Um, yeah, so he's gonna take some damage, um, and I want to try and, uh, get him over here. Luckily, he can just get there. So I'm gonna try and use items as well to make it easier on, uh, on the, uh, on the fight. That way they don't die immediately. And I'm gonna try and attack this. I was really hoping to be able to take this one out so I could use a skill to kill this, but I can't waste any time here, which is unfortunate. So luckily, to now. attack that move um, move over here just to decrease the chance of her attacking Try and use him as a lure to get her to come over and defend. Um, move. What are your weaknesses? Okay, this is much better because now she isn't super resistant to uh, to ice anymore. So I'm going to attack that. Execute. So now only taking twenty percent damage. Essentially, kite her using the prinnies. Uh, equip. Just taking some memory. Okay. Now, since I can do that, equip again. Do it. Darkness smash. Get rid of that. Okay, 
So now it's just the boost. because you're taking it off and on repeatedly, uh, it doesn't get stuck to any one character. But one of the unfortunate consequences of this is you have to lose the HP and whatnot if you do use muscles. Um, I'm gonna use Skull Splitter. Um, and now she's weak. I'm going to send out Ozu to kite her some more while I send, uh, I take, uh, what's her movement? Okay, yeah, so I just need to move her here while I heal these guys using some of the cotton candy. Um, I'm not gonna use any of the cotton candy on. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna magic boost Ernest, because he'll be doing a bunch of damage with, with um, magic this time. Okay, so he's gonna be able to take a few more hits, like three more hits max. And this is a good time to start Healed. Uh, I'm gonna do the slipper trick on him again. Because I haven't healed him yet. But he's really far out of the fight at this point. But now, uh, I wanna get him back to where he should be about. I think I had the Endeavor Belt on him. Yeah, okay, good. Just wanted to. Item, use the cotton candy. Because I don't want anyone to be at super low health just yet. And I'm going to take him out to possibly kite some more. Because I'm going to have him just uh, throw some Giga Ice over here. Uh, just to possibly take up one of her turns. If she decides to uh, use one of the uh, one of her spells, so defend again. I'm honestly gonna attack with this one. Um, and now another gig of ice, because I do want to do damage, because she does have the SP. I do think that could be worrying, because I don't want to have to essentially do the same fight again if she's able to completely heal herself. Holy shit, that counter was strong. I didn't think you could counter from if someone attacked you from behind. Um, okay, so that, that explains that. So, she's at full, he's a hundred away from full, he's about a hundred away from full. This is... Probably one of the better opportunities to attack. Um, darkness Slash. No, I'm gonna do Spinning Slash with. No, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move him up. I'm gonna move him back here. I'm gonna start this entire thing off with Pretty Mirage. And then, I'm gonna move him over here. And the next weakest person is most likely her. So... Okay, okay. Figuring things out, figuring things out. What I want to do... Get everyone under position. And I'm going to Braveheart. These two. After that, start the Premier Barrage. Then... Hit her with the spear. After that, 
at her. But I'm not sure whether this is stronger than just this base attack. So I'm gonna try base attack because his skill had uh, uh, colossal. Because his skill had a odd looking thing on it that made me think that used his intelligence and his, and his attack. And I didn't want that to be the case. <laughs> so, she is almost dead. And luckily she did not do what I didn't want her to do. Luckily she behaved. Um, okay, you. Food item, which is nice. Woo! That was tough. Don't blame me if you die. You're the one who started it. <gasps> Pretty juice. Huh? Oh, oh, it was only a dream. What the hell were you dreaming about? Uh, anyways, I can finally get my memories back. Hey, where'd it go? <laughs> 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 Madeiras? Etna, what are you doing? Well, um... <laughs> Looking for this, perhaps? Oh, when did you... Hey, that person, he looks like God. I get it. You're the one who tricked Flan into trying to kill me. What do you mean? Don't even think about it. <laughs> Fine. Your plan was to claim that Laharl was still alive, so you could get your memory back while I fought him, was it not? Fool! I already know that you killed Laharl. <laughs> the Overlord and his son no longer exist. What? The Overlord is already dead? Why are you so surprised? God told me that you were the Overlord! Well, I was going to be the Overlord, but that's not the case anymore. You did a fine job, Etna. You've done everything I asked. Which means I have no reason to keep you around. What? Give me back my memory! <laughs> we're demons. Why should I show any sympathy for you? You shall regret trying to betray me! Ah! I'm gonna kill you if you do anything to my memory! What am I feeling? Ha! You're not even a noble demon! What are you doing here? Ha! What are you looking at? Step aside, commoner! Ah! Uh, st stop it! I said stop! That's goddamn adorable. I've never seen that sprite of young Etna before. That's adorable. You sure eat a lot for something so weak. I mean, you're eating my food too. I don't have any more food. If you want more, you'll have to steal some on your own. I'm going now. Bye bye. Was that... my memory? My, my! Looks like you could use a hand. Huh? Who is it? You. How disgusting! A noble demon should never harm a beautiful maiden. Let moi, the Dark Adonis Vyers, take care of this. Jeez, you got some crazy fetish or something? What? We'll answer everybody's letters instead of Miss Etna. <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. Here's the first letter, dude! It's from a girl living in the netherworld. A certain person took my fun away. What should I do? Hmm, that is a tough question. I don't understand how someone can just take people's fun away. It seems like the netherworld is so full of these sad, evil people. It's so different from so...
Celestia. You just need to teach those evil people a lesson about justice. You feel that way too, Flan? Yes! Angels are allowed to get mad too! I'm glad to hear it. Oh, hey! When did you get here? Why are you trying to take my fun away? <laughs> oh, you look awfully scary, Miss Etna. Well, like you said... No! I'm sorry! Okay, so yeah, Medeiros has Etna's memory, and that's her big thing. just came out of nowhere and stole my scene! It's okay, Miss Etna. At least your precious memories weren't destroyed. That just makes everything worse. It makes me sick that I was saved by a demon like him. Yeah, no doubt he stole the show, dude! I don't know why he appeared, but he just got in my way. He even made that stupid promise. Vyas? Never heard of you. But if you get in my way, you won't live to see tomorrow! Please, calm down! You tried to destroy the lovely lady's memories, thinking they were worthless. But if you did that, she would never let you get away with it. Yep. If you don't want to die, then don't piss me off. <laughs> what can she do? I'll just destroy her and not have to worry about it. I see that both of you are willing to settle this through battle. How about we return here another day to settle your duel? Huh? Why should I agree to that? I just want my memories back. If you fight Madeiras now, you won't walk away unscathed. You exerted plenty of your energy during your previous battle. You're enjoying this, aren't you? The duel will be held three days from now. We shall all meet at Grand North, several miles north of Madeiras's castle. If Etna should win, Madeiras must return her memories. But if she should lose... Hmm... How about, uh, Madeiras will become the next overlord? Hey, hey! I will not agree! What guarantee do I have that I will become the overlord by defeating her? There are plenty of others who are vying for that title. That is a good point. However, she did eliminate the prince, the rightful heir to the throne. I am confident that you would qualify as the overlord should you defeat her. And I will also give you this for defeating the young mademoiselle. The demon tome? Hey, why do you have that? I, uh, uh <laughs> I stumbled upon it earlier. Yeah, I think God has rewarded moi for being so handsome. is beyond priceless. The demon tome can only be held by the overlord himself. It's proof of being from the royal family. If you have that book, you're basically the overlord. Wow! I never knew it was that easy to become an overlord! <laughs> Fool! Why should I wait? I could just kill you all now! I understand how you feel, but I won't give this up that easily. If you attack, I won't hesitate to toss it into the lava! Have you gone mad? It can make you the Overlord! You think I'm joking? Huh? Go ahead! Go ahead and attack me! Ah, very well. I will adhere to your plan. By the way, why did that Byers guy say he was going to give up the Demon Tome? I don't think he had a choice in that situation. That's what I don't get. If he has the book, why doesn't he make himself the Overlord? It's because of love! Huh? Sacrificing yourself for the well-being of others. It's a wonderful act of love. Demons don't care about love. I know he has something up his sleeve. But I'll play along. For n I need to get rid of Madeiras first. Pretty Squad! Are you ready? Anytime, dude! Huh? But we still have a couple of days to go! That's the whole point! It's a surprise attack! Oh my! Aren't you going to fight fair and square? Of course not! Well, let's go kill this guy 
die already. Wait! I'm going with you! Yes, awesome. Oh, I finally have a healer. <laughs> Continued Chronicles of Etnarnia. Okay, so this is another thing that I almost uh, spoiled at the beginning of the episode, because I, as I was researching stuff, I found out that that wasn't the last episode or the last fight, which is why I was like, huh, why don't I have Flan in my party yet? Uh, yeah, Celestia? Yeah, why do you ask? It's my promise to go to Celestia. My date today? Oh yeah, because the dragon is a girl just NPCs, what do you expect? <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks for standing there. Okay. So now, let's check out Flan. You're level 5, really? That's some bullshit. Ah! What is that bullcrap? Yeah, do that. That's fine. Oh my god, this is absolute horse shit. Um, I don't even know how I'd power level her. Because she doesn't... She's not going to be strong enough to kill anything. And she heals. So, let's... She uses bows, but she's good at stabs better. Good at stabs better. Good words. Um, could possibly just try and get, like, one final hit on something? I don't know. Uh, I'll have to deal with that in its own way. So, Etna Mode only has two endings, as far as I understand, and one of them is the normal one, and the other is an insane one where you have to, like, defeat, uh, some... You have to, like, promote yourself a lot, and then you have to defeat, like, some super hard bosses, including, uh, Super Overlord Ball. Which, you know, based on uh, the one I showed you in Disguise 5, although a lot easier, I think, in this game, still way above my level of, uh, 23, and I don't even think I'd be able to unlock the bill and whatnot, so that's definitely an ending meant for when you're actually new game plusing it. Um, yeah, I wanna... Uh, I don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to, uh, end this episode early, and... Um, just start trying to grind Flan up to where she should be, because it's going to be a bit. So uh, with that, hope you all have a very nice day, and uh, hopefully the next episode will be longer and make up for this. Bye!